Each person in the world has some kind of advantages, disadvantages, our personal strength side or some our personal weakness. I have my own. I'm pretty aware of that. I'm very calm when I'm late. If you deal with for some meeting, sometimes it's my mistake or I just stacked in the traffic and my journey from the city center to Ilija the place of meeting instead of 20 minutes becomes longer than one hour. And this is something that is very common if you live in the urban area. In modern age, 21st century, people are very busy running around, trying to finish some jobs. I want to share with you today idea how can we improve our quality of life in the urban environment and we call that concept a smart city. But actually, it's a tricky name, because cities cannot be smart. The truth is, people are smart. The people sitting here trying to find some ideas and visions, and want to leave this place with ideas to turn into reality, into businesses, entrepreneurship actions, or any other actions to support the local community. My journey starts when I realized that I, I, I'm an engineer and I'm looking for solutions. In one moment, I realized that I'm done doing my job working in Sarajevo at university and I moved from here and I started working in one European project, research project related with smart technologies, with 5G, with Internet of Things. And actually, in one moment, I touched the concept of smart cities, smart grids, and many other smart directions but I want today to clarify what's actually going on. All the smart technologies are not here because we need the smart technologies. Actually, we want to improve our society, to improve our quality of life, and we want to talk what actually means smart society. This is one of my observations what could be smart society at the end, and it successfully harnesses the potential of digital technology and connected devices and the use of digital networks to improve people's lives. And it's pretty, it's, it's pretty simple and easy vision. The implementation maybe is not so easy, but the concept and the, of the goal, what we really want to do, is not difficult to understand. Uh, today, we, we, are, we witness the rise of digital citizens. We actually we are aware of digital transformation in every small part of our life. In business processes, in private life, we're trying to optimize our resources, our time, or our money. Uh, how strong that process is, uh, maybe the best, the best image we can create if we say that uh, by 2025 in the world, at least 6 billion people will be connected on the internet using smartphones. We're expecting that what means 1 billion more than we have connected today. People learning how to live together with smart devices and smart technologies. Uh, there is some stories behind what, what proves uh, the concept which is going on right now. I have a friend with very small kids, one, two year old, and I witnessed that that kids actually first thing start using smartphones. And they are very smart and skilled. They remember the pin code, open the smartphone, find YouTube, and that find the history and find the Peppa Pig cartoons, touch and start watching without any support of parents. Later, kids start writing, talking, and things. So this is the proof that our education concept is completely changed. We are not sure which direction we are going there. But we, we know that new gener generation will introduce some new moments for us. Education is first important point for smart society. We need to stop being scared of technologies, of robotics. Robots will not steal our jobs, not kill us, for sure. Artificial intelligence 
is not really intelligence. It's something that is controlled by us. But all these concepts actually help us to learn some new knowledge, some added values, and these concepts help us to make easier to manage and optimize our resources in smart cities. We need to change. We need flexibility, we need creativity, we need innovations. We need some specific human abilities to turn the regular society into something smart. But one thing we need to, to remember. If any of you think that technology can resolve all our problems, in that case, you don't understand technology and you don't understand the problems and challenges we have nowadays. The Bruce Schneider, the leading guy in cybersecurity, said these sentences and perfectly described what the word smart really means. The smart world, world is reserved for people. Which opportunities we have? It's not only smart cities. We have e-banking, we have smart grids, we can, we can introduce renewables, the green energy. We can optimize our trip from home to office and back. In the moment when city can share the information, how many cars on which street you have, so you can save three minutes. This morning when I'm trying to reach this location, I just count how many minutes I need to come from my home to here. It was expected to be here for eight minutes. Actually, I spent double more. Why? Because I stuck in one moment. And after that, I lost five, six, six minutes looking for parking. And if you accumulate minutes and minutes, we will very soon start talking about hours, after that days, and then weeks in one year, how much time we lose looking for something that is not necessary if we can improve our society and our cities. This is the three biggest concepts here, actually. You have the bunch of sensors collecting some data for you. You have Internet of Things. You're expecting some fifth generation of mobile network to support the transportation of that data to some final place where we store and analyze that data and find some additional knowledges which will, which will help us to profile habits of our citizens. Let's take one easy example. The number of people using the public transportation very early morning, the period where people go into to offices, is for sure three to five times more compared to people, how, ma how, how many people using the public transportation in the period of middle of day. But the situation begins again as a circle at the end of working time, but just in opposite direction. You are going from the city centers to residential part of city. If the people who are managing the cities can collect that information, that makes us easier to plan our public transportation. The same thing if you talk about the waste management. Why are you, why are you sending tens of trucks to collect garbage around the city if some of location is not necessary? Or in other case, probably in some places you need to send a truck more than once per day because any of reasons. If we know that data, we can turn our society into something, something better. But we need to remember, the cities will never be the bunch of technologies. Uh, it's very interactive systems. Cities talking with people, talking or communicating. And people communicate, asking for some services from the city. And technology can help, but cannot resolve all our problems. Smart cities, this concept is just very beginning. We are trying to evolve with something what we call responsive city, a city which, which will react on the action of, 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 of people. For example, it's not something what is habit, but you have some single event, like we have a TED today, and a lot of people want to come here. And that will not, never, maybe not happen again for a two, few months. But in this moment, the city can collect the information and react. We can plan additional public transportation, uh, reserve the parking places, and organize the event easier. But what we need more, if we want to clarify all goals we have in the next decade, we can touch something 
described in the concept of sustainable development goals of United Nations. It's seven goals, 17 goals, very clarify where we can use tech innovations to improve our societies. It's a very common goal, like a zero hunger, quality education, gender equality, all what is really necessary and what we touched today. It's amazing thing that I heard today the improvement in education, the kids left the Bosnia, traveled to Germany to learn something more. I had the honor to, to listen to the talk about one successful startup entrepreneurship action here using the innovations to improve this society. Some people are still here improving our society in many ways. One of goals are smart cities. Actually, it's a hidden under the name sustainable cities and communities, but it's more general. Actually, everything what is important is behind this goal 11. But don't be scared. The goal today is to, to, to left this room with ideas how you can improve your city. Sarajevo needs a lot of things to change. Actually, we talk about the fog issues during the winter period of Sarajevo. We have a lot of challenges with traffic, with public transportation. We have uh, challenges with uh, water distribution systems. It's very, very well known for us who live in Sarajevo. But we need to push decision makers to change something. But first thing we need to clarify, you need to believe in yourself, to have a clear idea and vision of what you want to do. This is something what you can expect when you try to push your ideas forward. It's a resistance to any new ideas. If you try to say, okay, I can create equipment to collect, collect information about how we are losing water or how many people using public transportation some period of day, 99% of people will say, ah, we cannot do it. We are living in Bosnia. It's not for us. Some company from Germany, Japan, United States will create the equipment. That's not true. We will see the proof that is not true. First thing, don't try to resolve your problems individually. Try to create teams. Even if you have a lot of individuals trying to do something separately, don't do that. Try to create a team. Team of three person is always stronger than ten individuals. Even if you talk about great people, because it's not easy. Second thing, stop being resellers of products of some, somebody others. Try to create your own idea, your own vision, your own product. Try to do something in the community. This is official statistics of European Commission for Research and Development Project for Balkan countries. And I decided to put comparison between Bosnia and Herzegovina and Croatia and Serbia, just because we are talking about the countries more or less the same number of people, similar economical situation, and, you know, ecosystem of, 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 of in, the, in the countries for development is more or less very similar and very well known for all of us. This blue line is Bosnia and Herzegovina. And in 2008, we had, I don't know, something around 10 projects. We are trying to research, develop, and something that is innovative. We tried a year later, and in one moment, we just give up. After 2013, Bosnia and Herzegovina disappeared from statistics. This rest of the statistics for Serbia and Croatia is not good, but actually this is the reason why we didn't enter the smart city era. I want to present you something to change your opinion. This is the main point of the talk. Three days ago, in East Sarajevo, supported by the development agency of the city of East Sarajevo and supported by the government of Republika Srpska, we participate in one European project and we started live smart city system, smart lightning. In the first three days, the smart lights decreased consumption of the energy for 72%. <laughs> the location of the, of the system is uh, Walking area near to Verine, behind the bus station in East Sarajevo. So 
if you walk there in the evening, you can see dimmable lights breathing together with you. If no people there, lights is 20%. If people walking, 100%, and dimming in few steps back. We can do it. Some of products built in is made in Bosnia and Herzegovina. This is the system. We are saving CO2, we, we increase our CO2 statistics, protect the environment, save energy, increase security, and many other things. But that's not only one project. I'm very proud that I know people and participate in two projects more. Some of people from that project are today here. And clap a hands for City Mind Lab. Smart Sarajevo starts also. And I'm pretty sure that you will get a chance to talk with people from Banja Luka, which also starts the project for Smart Banja Luka. So, or actually, we officially have a three project to smart cities in Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm pretty sure that people don't know for that. But don't be scared to be different. That's okay. And that's nice. And that's sexy. If you want to be just common guy, avoid criticism, okay. Say nothing, do nothing, be nothing. But the decision is ours. We have a two paths. Success on failure, but the smart city means always just smart people. Smart people means smart society. That's you.